We're going to start with some beginner techniques for mountain dulcima, and we're going to learn uh, <clears throat> London Bridge and Skip to Mode, which are really good uh, exercises to work on left and right hand techniques. I'm going to try to give you some different camera angles so that you'll be able to see what I'm doing with each hand, and let's get started. We're going to work on left hand skills right now with um, London Bridge. Let's tune to DAA. I always say when you go into a circle of dulcimer players, <clears throat> if you know the people, try to sit to the right of somebody that you know is a good player. Uh, in a jam session, this really works well because you can look over their right shoulder and you can see what their hands are doing. So I want to set this up so that you're seated at my right and you can look across and see what my hands are doing. Um, this is London Bridge, and we're going to be using three fingers of the left hand. So this is going to concentrate on the left hand. Don't worry too much about what your right hand is doing right now. The left hand is going to put your middle finger on the seventh fret and get your index finger ready for the eighth fret and your ring finger ready for the sixth fret so that when you play London Bridges you're using middle index middle ring and you can go smoothly from one note in the up to the other it makes it a little bit smoother than just going up and down the frets with your index finger so let's get in the habit of using all three fingers and occasionally the pinky will come in occasionally we'll use the thumb too but you get a really good lineup uh, in your body position here with your hand if you can use middle index and ring right here so we're going to go middle index middle ring now we're going to slide the ring down to five and we're going to go five six seven and we're going to slide the ring down to four and we're going to go four five six and if you notice I'm not picking up each finger and setting down the next finger I've got the ring finger down and I leave it down when I set down the middle finger and I leave these two down when I set down the uh, index finger and at the beginning you notice I kept the ring finger and the index finger down middle finger on seven while the ring finger is on six add index to eight back to seven with the middle and ring finger still down. Now I lift the middle finger and my ring finger's already on that sixth um, fret. Now I'm gonna slide my ring down to five, leave the five down while I add middle to six, leave the ring and middle down while I add index finger to seven. So let's go ahead through all the piece starting at the beginning and see how this is gonna work. Seven, eight, seven, six, slide ring down, five, six, seven with index on seven, slide ring down with ring on four, middle on five, index on six, now slide your whole system back up, so ring is on five, middle is on six, and index is on seven. Now just like it was at the beginning, middle, index, middle, ring, slide ring down, five, six, seven. Now, slide your ring down to, to four, but keep your index finger extended so it can go back to the seven. Four, seven, and then I would put index on five and ring on three. Four, seven, five, three. And I was just doing an across the string stroke with my right hand. It doesn't really matter right now. Don't worry about your right hand. Just practice this one with your left hand. If you want to add a right hand technique to it, it's just going to be a back and forth strum. And I'll, I'm going to change the cha uh, camera angle and then I'll show you the back and forth strum and we'll use it also on Skip to My Lou. The back and forth strum is just going to go back and forth across your strings like this. Hold your pick 
between your thumb and your index finger, and I like to use the first joint of my index finger right here to hold the, the pick with my thumb right there at the first joint and the pick in between, of course. And then I can sweep my pick across the strings forward and back. And rather than having the pick at a 90 degree angle so that you're gouging the strings as you go across, I like to position the pick at an angle so that you're stroking the strings as you go across. And then as you come back, you're going to change the angle of your wrist so that you're stroking the strings back across this way. So it's out, in, out, in. And it's a wrist action that you're actually rotating your wrist, not just flipping your wrist like this, but you're actually rotating it like turning a door handle. So the back and forth strum on London Bridge is like this. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, out, in, out, out, in, out, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, 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 in. And I think it's important to remember that we are going to not work on the right hand scale until the left hand scale is pretty certain. You've got to get your notes first before you work on your right hand technique. So get your left, learn your left hand technique uh, on each song. Make sure your left hand knows where to go before you worry too much about what your right hand is doing.